Okay, uh, in this video, we want to do the integration here that we have 1 minus the square root of x divided by 1 plus the square root of x dx. And the trick here was let x equal to, be equal to z squared. Let x equal z squared, so dx is 2 times z dz. So x is expressed in terms of the new variable z, and so is dx. So this integral now becomes 1 minus z divided by 1 plus z times this, but 2z dz. So it's easy enough to get the integral from this form into this form. The problem was once we got to here, we didn't see much that we could do with it. Clearly the numerator here is of higher degree than the denominator. So at this point we thought let's try to do some uh, long division and maybe once we finish that it'll put us in a form that's amenable to perhaps uh, partial fraction technique. So we have z minus z squared And we're going to divide that by z plus 1. And this will be z. And here this will be z plus z squared. So z plus z squared. Now when we subtract, we have minus z squared minus a positive z squared. That's minus 2 times z squared. So this would be minus 2z plus 0. Minus 2z times z is minus 2z squared minus 2 times z. And now we subtract to get our remainder, and that's plus 2z. And this here is just minus z. So what we get is that z minus z squared divided by z plus 1 equals minus z plus 2z divided by z plus 1. So let's go back up to here. This will equal then, here we have 2 times minus z, so with minus 2, the integral of z dz, and 2 times 2 is 4, plus 4, the integral of z over z plus 1. Okay, um, that's what we can do right away. That's one half z squared. So this is just going to be minus z squared. But what about this integral? We have 4z over z plus 1 dz. Uh, that's not exactly in a form uh, for using trig substitutions, but it's tempting to try it anyway because we've got the z term up here. So what if we said let z equal the tangent squared of theta. This would be the secant squared of theta. And if this is tangent squared, this would be 2 times the tangent of theta times the secant of theta on our dz term, which would cancel with that. So maybe that would work out okay for us. Let's try it out. We're going to say let z 
equal the tangent of theta tangent squared theta so this is going to be tangent squared theta plus one this will be the secant of theta secant squared of theta and dz that will be two times the tangent of theta times the differential of that which is secant squared theta d theta so this would cancel with that so let's write the whole thing out we'll have four the integral of z that's this tangent squared of theta divided by the secant squared of theta dz that's two so two times four times secant squared theta tangent theta d theta and these cancel so we have eight the integral of the tangent cubed theta d theta and this we should know how to handle uh, this is the tangent squared of theta times the tangent of theta d theta and the tangent squared of theta this is secant squared theta minus one so here we're going to have this will be equal to the integral of the secant squared of theta minus one times the tangent of theta d theta and let's make some room here So this will be equal to secant squared theta times the tangent of theta minus the tangent of theta. D theta. Okay, and looks like these should be pretty easy to handle. We know what this is. This is minus the natural log of the cosine of theta. And we forgot to write our d theta term here. And look here, if we call this u, du is the secant of theta d theta. So this is just the integral of u du, that's one half u squared. So this would be equal to four times the tangent squared theta and this is minus the natural log of the cosine of theta that's going to make it plus so we're going to have plus 8 times the natural log of the cosine of theta and let's see this was our substitution here so the tangent squared of theta, that is z, but we don't know the cosine of theta. So we can draw a triangle. Here's theta. And the tangent of theta is going to be the square root of z divided by 1. That will be the side opposite divided by the side adjacent. So this will be the square root of z plus 1. And now we know what the cosine of theta is. So this part here equals uh, 4 tangent squared theta is z plus 8 times the natural log of the cosine of theta. And the cosine of theta is the side adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. So we have 1 over square root of z plus 1. And let's not forget, up here we had minus z squared.
So this then should be the solution to this integral here. Minus z e squared plus 4z plus 8 the natural log of this. Um, and we can rewrite this part here before we make our final substitution. Here we have minus z squared plus 4 times z. And here we would have plus 4 the natural log of 1 over square root of z plus 1 squared. This is just using the property of logarithms here. And this would be equal to minus z squared plus 4z. And here we'll have plus 4 the natural log of 1 over z plus 1. So all we have to do now is substitute for z and we should have the solution to this integral here. Uh, I don't know if we have enough time remaining in the video to do that. So come back, join us in the next video. We'll make our final substitution and see if we can finally solve this integral here. Come back Give us a couple more minutes and we'll see if we can wrap this up.